One of the first techniques you need to learn when you do watercolour is learning how to do a wash. And what I've got here on my palette is some ultramarine blue. I'm using quite a stiff bristle brush to dilute the colour down and adding lots and lots of water to it. And always mix far more than you think you'll need because it's amazing how these wash brushes um, just soak up the paint. This brush is a squirrel hair brush and it carries a lot of water. It is terrific for doing washes. And you use washes for um, painting in big areas such as a sky. So for example, here we go. This is called a flat wash and I just call it painting the barn door really. You just move your brush from one side of the painting to the other and just allow it to dry. So that is a flat wash. Dry your brush and just lift off any little dabs of water on the side. Now, to do a graded wash, you pick up your ultramarine blue and this time put it down from edge to edge again, exactly the same way. But now you dip into water and shake all the paint out and without drying your brush, Pick up the edge of the blue that was there and just carry it down a little bit and you get the feeling of distance. Also, if you tilt your paper, um, you get runs and then you can just dry your brush and pick up any little drips that happen like that. But the idea is to get the paint from going very dark into very, very light, which it is on the horizon. The other kind of wash that you can do is um, a three color wash. And the secret to doing that is to use a little bit of water in between the colours. So for example, I could do a sunset or a sunrise by first putting my blue down, rinsing the brush, putting a little row of water between that colour and the next colour, which is going to be a yellow. And I'll add my yellow in like that. And then I'm going to rinse my brush and add water just across the base of the yellow and then go into my red and add lots of water to the red and then take the red down to the bottom like that. And that way you keep your colours completely clean and as it dries um, the colours will blend slightly into each other but it's a very beautiful way of doing something that's ready for um, a painting to go on top of it. So here's one I did earlier which is dry and you can see I've done pink and then added a little water around the edge, dropped the yellow in, added a bit of water around the edge and taken it into blue. But you're not getting greens or purples. And what I'll do on top of that is probably put something like some boats. And it'll be boats in the sunrise or in the sunset on top of a three-color wash. So it's a great way of painting with watercolor.